Hello, and welcome to another generic shooter tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be covering how to use other marketplace muzzle flashes in a generic shooter project so you don't have to look at the ugly muzzle flashes I provide you. Now, this tutorial is going to be in two parts. One is going to be a single shot, non looping muzzle flash tutorial, and the other is a looping muzzle flash tutorial. They're slightly different, uh, they have different properties, but it's really easy to set up both using generic shooter. The muzzle flash pack I'll be using is 101 muzzle flashes by W3 Studios also known by Devero, who is developing a game called Abatron, which is a pretty cool game because it has some pretty cool visual effects. Check it out. Uh, this muzzle flash pack is not by me. It's by them, but uh, it's a good, easy swap in with Generic Shooter. You can use other muzzle flash packs, provided they are constructed in a certain way, and we'll get into that. So if you download that pack, merge it into your project, uh, you get a nice demo room showing off all the muzzle flashes here. I'll be using 411, which is a single shot non-looping particle effect. And I'll be using 61, which is a looping particle effect. And you can tell the difference between a looping and a non-looping uh, being if it's visible in the editor without hitting play, then it's looping. If it's not, then it's single shot. Okay, so I'm going to load up test map because... Test map is a very basic, uh, very high frame rate running. This runs at 120 frames per second on most machines. Uh, that particle level is a little heavy. So first thing we want to do is if we're putting in our single shot muzzle flash, you want to find it in your content browser. I'm using particle effect 411, and this is located in content, muzzles, particles, and 411. I'm just going to search 411 because there's a lot of stuff in here. And you'll see that with the cascade open, uh, this thing is some laser type of rifle thing. And uh, it's cool. And it doesn't loop. It's a single shot. But it does loop in cascade to give you a preview of what it is. Uh, if I drag it into the world, you'll see that it fires once, but it doesn't fire again. It just stays there. And that's kind of a problem. Or kind of a problem if you're trying to visualize it. But it's actually a really good thing for weapon fire. Single shot weapon muzzle flashes mean that every time a bullet is fired, it will spawn a muzzle flash emitter. And this is great for average weapons, but if you're using a minigun or something with a higher rate of fire, it could stack up a lot of emitters real quickly and degrade performance, which is why you would want to use a looping muzzle flash in that situation. But for a regular rifle, a single shot muzzle flash works pretty well, and you don't have to worry about things like syncing muzzle flashes to bullet shots because it kind of already is handled by the system. So I want to add this to the default rifle. So I'm going to open the default rifle up by going to generic shooter, weapons, rifle, BP rifle. And in this list of variables here, if you go to the config effects category, you'll see impact effect, muzzle flash particle, and a bunch of other muzzle flash related stuff. Uh, so you can set up the tracers, the muzzle flash, and some other parameters here. So I'm going to just hook in muzzle flash 411 and I'm going to compile my rifle blueprint. And if I hit play, not simulate, but make sure you hit selected viewport, otherwise it won't work. Uh, you'll see that bang, when I fire my gun, bang, 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 bang. I have my muzzle flash and it works pretty well. Muzzle flash is a little big here, but that is a, a property of bang, 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 bang. the muzzle flash itself. So you can go ahead and edit the muzzle flash however you want, bang, bang, bang. but it works really well. If I have full auto, it works really bang, well. Bang, 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 bang. By semi-auto, bang, 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 bang. you'll see that it syncs up perfectly with all my shots. And again, that is because this is a non-looping single shot muzzle flash. And uh, the reason why it works without any additional work is one very, very important uh, property of this is that the muzzle flash faces down X. So if I zoom in on the window here and uh, get this muzzle flash visible, You'll see, uh, kind of hard to get in the viewport, but you'll see that the, the muzzle flash is kind of pointing down X. Muzzle flashes that don't point down X, you will need to rotate the face down X for it to work within generic shooter. And most particles are made facing X, but some are not. And if they're not, I'm sorry, but you have to kind of figure that out yourself and rotate it and get it to work facing down X. Very important that all muzzle flashes face down X. So that's all there is to doing a single shot rifle. Uh, muzzle flash. Uh, very simple, as long as it faces down X and it doesn't loop, 
Again, you just go to rifle, swap out the muzzle flash particle with the muzzle flash you want, and everything is good. Now, if you have a custom weapon, say you modeled your own weapon mask or something like that, there is an additional step required to make sure that your muzzle flashes appear correctly. So in order to do that, open up the skeleton of your weapon. That's right, your skeleton uh, needs to be rigged somewhat. Even if it's just a one bone, like a root bone, your weapon needs to be skinned to a skeleton. Otherwise, this won't work at all. And you need to add a joint or a socket uh, to your skeleton called muzzle flash. And as you can see here, my socket name is called muzzle flash. I attach it to the bone muzzle. And as you can see, my muzzle flash x-axis is pointing forward. So that's why your particle effects need to point down x because is because the socket is pointing x forward. All right. So if you have a custom mesh, make sure your mesh has a socket called muzzle flash. Otherwise, when you attach muzzle flashes, you're never going to see them. It's never going to work. And if you do need to change the socket name for whatever reason, you can change the muzzle flash socket property to use a different socket, but that should not really need to be touched ever. Now, if we were to use a looping particle, let's go ahead and put in 6-1, which is a kind of more standard muzzle flash. It's more fire, more light, just more standard kind of, um, but without the starburst pattern. If I go ahead and start playing with this, I assign it to my rifle. Bang. You'll see that if I fire once, it just keeps looping. And that's because this particle effect doesn't stop. It's programmed in Cascade to keep looping. So if I kept firing, bang, 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 bang. you'll see that multiple particles are stacking up, which is a huge bad performance issue, as well as it's just not good behavior. That's not what you want. So the rifle has a little box down here under the muzzle flash particle system called B looped muzzle flash. If you check this, that takes care of all the magic of only creating one emitter for your muzzle flash and destroying it when you stop firing. What this does not do though, is it does not sync your muzzle flash effect to the shots of your gun. So if you were to single bang, shot it, bang. it works pretty well. But if you were to full auto, bang, 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 you'll see that the rate of fire, the bang, 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 does not match the muzzle flash. And unfortunately, that is something that uh, is defined in the muzzle flash itself. So you would have to come in here and change the spawn rate and change how fast things loop, change the lifetime of different particle effects to match your weapon. And that is beyond the scope of this tutorial. Uh, this tutorial is really just how to get a muzzle flash onto your rifle. And really, the critical part is just assign it to a muzzle flash particle. And if it loops, hit this box. Uh, but again, it's very important that your muzzle flashes are facing down X. Some of the muzzle flash packs on the marketplace don't face down X. Some face down Y. In fact, there are a few muzzle packs on the marketplace that have par have particle effects facing down X and Y, which is a really strange thing. But again, I can't stress this enough. If you want your muzzle flash to work with multiple weapons in multiple environments and just make sure everything's stable, face it down X. Make sure your weapon has a socket with facing with X facing down X or facing forward and everything will be good to go, good to go good to fire good to play good to package everything will just work uh, so again I recommend Jason or the Vero W3 Studios muzzle flashes on the marketplace because all his muzzle flashes face down X there's not a single muzzle flash that does not face down X at least from what I've experienced and the looping particle systems work great for performance reasons. They just need to be tweaked to match your weapon. And the single shots work even better. And very performant. Um, problem is if you have every particle in a scene like the demo room, you are going to eat some frames. But great muzzle flash pack. Highly recommend it. As you can see, it works with minimal effort into generic shooter. And most of this tutorial is explaining what could go wrong as opposed to what could go right. Uh, because in a nutshell, you download this, assign it to your rifle's muzzle flash particle. If it's looping, check that box, you're done. Uh, but other muzzle flash fuse might not work the same way, and I know I'm going to get emails asking, hey, why doesn't my muzzle flash work? So uh, thanks for watching, everybody. And this, so uh, this video was recorded during a live stream, so let's give a shout-out to everybody in the Twitch chat, which is... Uh, Ahmed Saw X2, Black Robot 96, Choinsky, Cookie Key, FPSZ, Fushigi 87, JV the Wanderer, Pelerud 203, 
Return the Cinder, Shioba, The Community, Voxish, Zimmy002, and ZI Afterlife. Um, those are everybody watching the creation of this thing. So they're now immortalized in this video. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, make cool stuff.